bon, on pas citizen, même quand on a un visa. Est-ce qu'on pense que tu as venir juste qui doit partir Et comme si ça pas été. Mon point c'est ça qui dit le bon là, c'est seul bon Dieu. He felt something that told him to go outside, and while he was on his way outside, it all happened. So he was at the door when it all started going going down. And it was his. Le lampe nous venait comme moi ce matin. Nous devions passer par Saint Domingue. Nous devions passer par Saint Domingue et puis tomber en machine et puis comme vous And he actually was in a whole other country, in a whole other part of the country, coming in. Il est moins très bon. And when he came back to, 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 to only to one son, or one son and a daughter, the baby left out of a whole family of six. Malgré tout le monde n'était pas offert, il n'avait pas de résidence moi pour moi entrer ensemble avec Bonia comme beaucoup de jeunes informations. Alors il faut que moi aille après. Now he's trying to get them to go to another island to, to see. You had a question? Alors c'était une possibilité pour me dire. How long did the actual earthquake? 36 seconds. 36 seconds. The whole earthquake on Tuesday. 36 seconds. You saw yesterday how everybody, it was maybe three seconds or ten yeah, seconds right. and everybody still riled up, riled up. Right. And this woman is? His sister's his sister. in-law. Okay. In so it was her sister that died. She lost her died. mother as well and is the <laughs> wife. See, in Haiti, it's, it's extended families all live together. Mm -hmm. And so, um, this is the family of the wife, the sister of the wife. And their mother died, as well as the other uh, sisters. It was five of them of the extended family. And so, she's the only one left of the extended family. And, her brother-in-law. So she's caring for the baby now? Yes, she's caring for the baby now. How old is the baby? Three months. So now they have nobody else but each other. Has the baby been seen by the clinic? Could it be Bia? Yeah, they went to the hospital and, and got uh, He's going to take everybody to another part of the country where it's more calm. And now, like everybody else, they too are homeless. And her husband's legs has been destroyed from the rubble, so they had to cut that off. So her husband's still alive? Yeah, my old vivant toujours. Le vivant, mais puis a cassé. He's alive, yes. Il l'hôpital, il s'en sortira. He's at a, um, stuck in the, uh, what is that called? The courtyard of one of the hospitals. Because although he has a missing leg, that's not bad enough to be inside the hospital. So he's just in the courtyard, awaiting help. So every, yeah, everything fell on the leg and he was in, on his way out. Hello, hi, I'm Dr. George Pullman coming from North Carolina and I volunteered to come and offer relief uh, to the devastation here in Haiti after the earthquake. Um, the needs are just overwhelming and I've spent several years in Africa and still never experienced anything of this nature. Uh, there's so much death and suffering, emotional and physical trauma related to the immediate disaster, but even more, as you can see in the background, the displaced individuals who this will be their home for the next three to six months and the need for ongoing support to provide clean water, sanitation, health care, because this is their home now for a long period. Can you talk about the the supplies and medications that are needed in the clinic that you were working in that's right outside the doors here? We, we needed an amazing array of medical supplies. We were handling fractures. We actually performed the C-section live on the scene. Uh, we've been dealing with a lot of acute lacerations, uh, healing lacerations, but now people are coming in with illness related to respiratory uh, disease, diarrhea, so 
we're needing a broad array of antibiotics, um, IV so solutions, uh, medical, surgical equipment, orthopedic equipment. It, it really crosses almost every field of medicine. And how many people, they estimate there's at least 15,000 people in this tent city? Um, that's been my understanding that there is at least 10 to 15,000 who have been displaced from their homes. So family, children, uh, the needs for even the routine care that all of these people, but it's, you know, magnified by all of the illnesses that are now beginning to appear from uh, sanitation, water, safe, secure water, uh, the issues of food, nutrition, uh, but then that's still superimposed over the acute trauma that we're still dealing with. Okay. Well, thanks for all that you did today, volunteering your time to treat those that are in need. Well, thank you, and please uh, keep supporting this effort. It, it needs tremendous amount of support, and it's not going to go away in a week or a month. Thank you. So the night, yeah, no, so no. So where no. we're standing trash. right now was the was the dump for trash. For trash. Right and the night of the earthquake, yeah. mm -hmm. they slept. Everybody, these people slept on the trash. Yes. They slept on the trash. They didn't have another choice. What is where did they dump the trash of the city? Yeah. Trash of the city. Okay. So this is Michael June. He is in charge right now, and it's Sunday morning. And I was talking to him. Shida. She lives here. What's her name? Jesus Men. Hi there. And I was asking last night we heard some gunshots and we were talking about what that was. Can you can you tell everyone what was, was happening? We're actually right outside these walls is the tent city. You have fifteen to twenty thousand people out there, right? Well we're actually uh, ten miles south of Port au Prince, which is the Carfu area, and Carfu was the epicenter of the earthquake. And um, there's a lot of damage, and you, you don't see it on TV because we don't have the tall buildings here, but it's most, mostly of a residential area, and a lot of people have died. We still have people stuck in buildings, still to this day screaming, and we're trying to get them out. But um, we have on our five acres or four acres or four and a half acres of land, we have 17,000 people here. Um, at night, it balloons, depending on the, the weather, if it's raining or not, but it balloons to 20,000 sometimes. Um, we have a girls' home, a boys' home um, that we have children in, and this is one of the girls, her, the girls mm -hmm. here, Jesus Men. But for the families who have survived, there is a tent city, and right now one of the problems that we're dealing with is we have people stealing children. And um, last night, as as you were privy to, we had gunshots at around 2:30 a.m. or 3 a.m. It was, um, and they caught somebody trying to steal a child. And the children are being stole, stolen for all kinds of reasons. They're being sold to uh, families in the U.S. They're being sold to uh, sex traffickers in the Dominican Republic to take them to South America. They're uh, being sold into slavery in Haiti themselves as well as the Dominican because we still have child slavery in both in the island. Both Dominican and, and Haiti are using child slavery. To work as workers. To work as workers. And then the sad thing as well is they're... Um, taking the children to to eat them which is because people are hungry now are hungry. and when I first arrived after the one during right after the quake one of the leaders here had said we're gonna have a problem with cannibalism it's just a matter of time and sure enough this week 10 or 12 days later here we are and it's it's already started so it's it's a really really tough situation but thank God last night it was two people trying to steal a baby. We caught one of them, and one of them ran away, but the child was safe, and uh, so that's the good thing right now. And so we ask everybody who is here and who's watching this right now to pray for us, yes. to um, send food, send water, so we don't have to resort to cannibalism. And um, just please pray for us. That's the best thing you can do, and help us to keep our minds right. So. Okay. Well, thanks so much, Michael, for all that you're doing here. And thank you all as well for all your support already. God bless.